It's been a while since I've made a video about anything. Um, I started working on the car last weekend. It's engine trouble now. Um, we got something wrong deep, deep in the engine. So instead of repairing it, uh, we're going to disassemble this. So the goal on here is to disassemble the vehicle and sell it one part at a time to somebody who needs it. Um, I've already started removing the catalytic converters for somebody. You can see in there I've disconnected some stuff. Uh, there won't be a video for that because I didn't do a dang thing right. So, um, it's just, it would be a video on uh, what not to do. Today's video will be front bumper removal. Um, I'll do a second video for rear bumper removal. And, um... And then also the removal of the original equipment uh, tow hitch. So uh, on the front bumper, this one's going to be front bumper. We crawl underneath. And under here, you'll see where they at. Okay. I really should get the... Can I get the... Oh, there we go. Okay. I get this going. There are bolts holding the bumper on. Now, because I'm taking the bumper off and selling the bumper, I'm going to not just take off the bolts. I'm going to take off the entire bracket off the frame. So, there's bolts on both sides of the frame. Um, under here, on this vehicle, it has like this little splash guard. I'm going to go ahead and pop off the splash guard right here and let the splash guard go with the, uh, the bumper. Um, and then on the other side of the frame, on the right side of the bumper, oh, come on, there we go. You can really see it there nice and clean. Don't have a bunch of stuff in the way. So let me get the, the wrench and tell you what size this is going to be. I tried using a flathead screwdriver to get these, and all I managed to do is break that first one. Um, these are just those, like, kind of one-time use push-through. Uh, so, I mean, if you, if you can salvage them, great. If you can't, I have found in some areas that long-nosed, uh, needle-nose pliers can kind of get in there get my, and uh, so and then we can <clears throat> we can get that maybe and uh, not doing a very good job at keeping this in the camera but if I can no can't all right just Yep, that one broke too. So, if you're going to pull these out, break them, go to the auto parts store, get new ones. So, I'm going to set the camera right there, flat on the ground, looking straight up. And, uh, here you go. A little hammer, a little hammer action. And that's that one. These are all brittle. Should drop this whole thing down with the bumper. <clears throat> I'm going to leave these other ones attached to the bumper. Hope you can see that. So I'll leave those ones attached to the bumper. And <clears throat> take off those bolts on the bottom. 
both sides and the top right up there. So on this vehicle, the uh, the bolts turned out to be 13 millimeter. I put my uh, half inch uh, wrench on there with a long extension. This is just the the bottoms. <laughs> it's pushing me away. That's all right. <sighs> Gonna need a little more. There we go. A little more pull. On there, very tight. so tight I broke my socket. <sighs> okay, thankfully they're craftsmen, so when that happens I can just run them to the store and get new ones. But <clears throat> here's another 13 millimeter. So I'm going from my half inch down to my 3 8 uh, extension, now down to a quarter quarter inch on the 13 millimeter <clears throat> hope I don't break this one <clears throat> <Son of. clears throat> I broke the quarter inch downsizer okay down here going up this is the bracket Looks like there's a nut there, and a nut here, and I, okay, let's see what size these are. So once I moved this big splash guard out of the way, I got access to these bolts. This is not actually the size, but I got lucky and found out this bolt wasn't on there very tight. So, I'm going to pull it off so I don't have to keep crawling under the car. Up, down, up, down, up, down. <sighs> nope. Testing different sizes. I was hoping since it was a big bolt, it might be a standard. No. It's millimeter. So, eh, whatever. Let's see, is that loose enough now? Yes. All right. Thirteen sixteen. It's kind of an oddball size. It's not millimeter. It's not exactly the right size for this but it's so close that if I tap it gently with a little bit of a hammer I can get it to stick on there then maybe loosen it up pop the thing off and use something that isn't the right size but can loosen it off just like the other one so let this be a lesson to you have a complete two or three sets of standard and millimeter in half inch size socket okay I got that top bolt off I'm going for that other bolt it's gonna be a hassle it's not gonna be video recorded <laughs> and then I'll move the splash guard over and I'll go for the one on this side Okay, check that. I'm going to put the 13 16th socket on there. I tapped it on. And then I got my nice long ratchet. I know some of you are going to be like, oh my god, that's a torque wrench. It's a broken torque wrench, so I use it as a very long 
<laughs> okay, there we go. Come on. It's very long. There we go. Oh, okay. Now I'll use something else to bring it out of there. Okay. The final. I stuck the socket back on there. I used a little one of these. No brain working right now. And I got it loose enough. And that is the driver's side. Now let's move over to the passenger side. Okay. Just pulled the last bolt on that side. This whole bumper is loose now. Um, I removed the light bulb from the driving light on that side. I'm gonna do it on this side. The person who's buying this bumper is very interested in the fact that it has these driving lights. Um, so, so just reach up. Pull it out. All right. And now, and now, well, pull the bumper off. Heavy. All right. Whew. That's the whole bumper. And that's how you remove <laughs> the front bumper the hard way. <clears throat> if you laughed at me during this video, <laughs> press the like button. I don't know. <laughs> Leave a comment. Ha <laughs> ha. Or something. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>